Hey everybody, this is Andy from Tennis Euphoria and today I'm bringing you my review of the Wilson Blade V8 16x19. So a little bit late to the party in reviewing one of the new V8 blades, but my style is to adopt a racket for a couple of weeks and use it as my own and then bring that feedback back to the market. So I tend to be lagging behind release dates on rackets, but I've played with rackets for a fair period before I review them. If that's of interest to you, then subscribe to the channel as there's plenty more coming up every circa two weeks. So the Wilson Blade V8, generally I'm a fan of the Blade line. I always think of the Blade line of rackets as being pretty versatile, ultimately control orientated, but with a little bit more power than a total control racket. My racket was um, around about on spec, 304 grams unstrung next to the 305 claimed. Um, after first hits, I put a leather grip onto it as I always do, which took my strong weight up to 328 grams. I started my play test by going with what seems to be quite popular and um, increasingly um, stringing Luxlon Alu Power Soft. I went with in the mains at 52 pounds and Luxlon Element in the crosses again at 52 pounds. So first impressions of the blade, it's lovely to have a blade again without any countervail. You do feel particularly connected to the ball with this version of the blade as you did with the V7 and also um, my previous favourite iteration, the 2015 version. Um, I liked the 1820 version um, that time around. This version of the blade has 45 in the construction which comes over from the clash more about that later but i think that makes this actually pretty special and there's a change to the butt cap which makes it uh, connected um, and i think that makes um, maybe a little bit of a difference but overall this does feel to be to me a very very stable racket um, for something that is so flexible and also for something that is actually quite light in terms of stock weight so it's pretty maneuverable certainly next to the sort of specs that i typically play with this feels fast through the air but to talk a bit more about that 45 i actually think that that makes this iteration of the blade quite special so you'll notice that i haven't reviewed the clash i'm just about to review the new clash 98 because i think that's really interesting uh, but the clash for me um, i couldn't really play with too effectively because i don't think the clash offers you really much control at all but what i was impressed by the clash um, with was the fact that they were able to make a flexible racket quite stable and actually i think this crosses over to this iteration of the blade really well so you have a lovely ra of 61 and i felt quite connected to the ball with nice feedback from the string bed and you can feel that little bit of flex but at the same time this feels very very stable next to other 305 gram unstrung um, rackets one thing that i also noticed was that stability um, really came through to net plate uh, I'm not the best volleyer in the world, it's something that I've been working on recently, um, but typically I like a much heavier racket and I didn't feel the need to customise this blade and it felt stable enough for me at the net to punch away a good volley. Uh, I was also getting into heavy baseline rallies with um, aggressive players and actually it felt really good from there too. So I started to realize that I've got something now that is very, very stable in the blade and it's more maneuverable than rackets that I typically would use with. So that makes it, I think, quite effective. Um, you can get more rotation and um, plow through through your swings. And then combine that with um, the control that you get from the racket, then this for me actually is quite a serious contender as racket of choice for me. I restrung after a, about 10 days and three or four hits and actually I removed the element at that point um, and went with a, um, uh, a more arm friendly um, and that was maybe because I was getting a little bit of arm pain disappointingly. Um, I don't usually suffer from arm pain but this is really hard for me to judge 
because um, reviewing this blade coincided with a period of a lot of um, heavy weight training more than I would typically do and a lot of pull based exercises and deadlifts which would have put a lot of strain um, through my pull mechanics so it might well be that that happened in the gym rather than with the racket so I did find that um, of course I went through this new string bed quicker than I did with the um, element and I lost tension a bit quicker but playability was quite similar if anything I was getting a little bit more power with that um, hybrid setup and I thought it worked pretty well so that could be a combination that I would maybe stick with if I was using the blade so in terms of comparing this to the V7, so the V7 was really good and um, I think with the V7 I got a little bit um, positively distracted by um, desires of the 1820 and with the 1820 you actually had um, not a particularly manoeuvrable um, blade. The V7 16 by 19 probably was a better fit for me and I reviewed that really well but I went with um, hitting some more with the 1820 and actually found that it was a little bit sluggish to my surprise. With this iteration of the blade the swing weights have been reduced a little bit and this 16 by 19 in particular is um, supposedly a swing weight of 320 and I just think actually that's quite a magic combination so for me with my old-fashioned forehand it gives me extra whip and as a result I get a little bit of extra lift um, and insurance over the net both in attacking play and also just um, general play from the baseline I'm getting a little bit more spin as well because of that 16 by 19 string pattern on the backhand side then crucially that bit of extra stability and a sweet spot that I think is actually relatively generous for a 98 means that I can pick up balls and um, hit through on my backhand pretty well as well so as I've already mentioned that combination of great stability at the net um, means that I think this is a really versatile all-court type of racket and, and I think in this V8 you have the best blade um, certainly of the last um, four or five versions of it so it's a massive thumbs up for me I have to say that um, I'm gonna hold on to this I won't sell it on um, if I can get hold of um, one or two more um, I will and I've actually sold my rackets of choice because I suspect that I will play much more effectively with this blade than I would have with my previous rackets of choice which was the um, head prestige MP um, so it really is a good review from my perspective I think it um, is a really really control orientated versatile players racket but that just brings loads of stability and loads of feel um, and something that I was really surprised but I don't feel the need to customize even at that um, stock weight of 305 so hope that was helpful um, I suppose a final note is a nod to the um, design of the racket so we have seen similar chameleon like um, paint jobs in rackets before here's it compared to uh, that Angel racket that um, the customs that people compare this paint job to and there's a, a difference in shade of color but certainly it's quite similar don't really know how Wilson got away with copying Angel in that regard next reviews will be quite interesting i'm having a look at that clash 98 notice that the new string pattern of 16 by 20 could mean that we actually do have a good control orientated clash so that could be quite interesting and i'm also going to be having a look at the technofiber tf40 16 by 19 which should be interesting so i hope they'll be of interest like and subscribe if they will and see you in the next one